Dory and the witch's visit. Dory is a witch, a little witch. Her hat is always on crooked and her socks never match. She lives with her mother, the big witch, and Cook and her black cat, Gink. Their house is tall and dark and spooky. At the top of a tower is the secret room where the big witch mixes magic. One day, Dory heard a lot of noise downstairs. The big witch and cook were yelling, doors were slamming, pots and pans were banging. Come on, Gink, said Dory. Let's go and see what's happening. Down to the kitchen went Dory and Gink. The big witch was glaring at Cook. Cook was frowning and waving a pot. I didn't know we'd run out. I was busy baking the cakes. What's happening? asked Dory. The big witch sat down at the table. Today is the day Magda the Amazing is coming for the grand tour of Witchville. She's judging us for the best town contest, and we've never, ever won. She's coming here for tea. Oh, said Dory, what fun! Fun? The house is in a terrible mess. We've only an hour before the guests arrive, and we haven't got any wax polish. I didn't know we didn't have any, shouted Cook. Why don't you magic some wax, said Dory. The big witch stared at Dory. You're right. Come on, I'll need your help. Up to the tower went the big witch and Dory, and Gink ran after them. The big witch pushed open the creepy old door. Get the cauldron ready, Dory, while I look for the recipe. Ah ha ha! Here it is. If I use the wax spell with just a dash of tornado, the parlor will be as clean as a new pin. Dory scratched her head. Are you sure you need the tornado? You never know what might happen. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'll only use a drop, just enough to get the cobwebs off the ceiling. Now, hand me that jar of blue crystals and that bottle of yellow stuff. Slowly, coloured sparks and steam began rising from the cauldron. Dory and the Big Witch stirred and stirred. The Big Witch looked at the clock. Oh, I've only got a few minutes. Stand back, Dory. The big witch spun round and round, first to the left, then to the right. Her black sleeves flapped like wings. She muttered and chanted. Suddenly, she stopped, closed her eyes, and sang. Ten to one, the parlor's done. Gleam and shimmer, shine and glimmer. Abracadabra, cadabra. Now, slowly the sparks and steam fell back into the cauldron. Dory, I must run and dress. You stay here and keep stirring until all the colors fade. Then get a clean dress on and socks. Come into the parlor when you are ready and meet Magda the Amazing. With a swish of her black skirt, the big witch hurried down the stairs. Dory peered into the cauldron. I like cooking, she said, and spells. She began spinning to the left and to the right. I can hear people coming. She ran to the window and looked out. There's Magda the Amazing on her silver broomstick. She looks sort of fierce. No wonder Mother was worried. Down the stairs went Dory and Gink to her bedroom. It looks as if a bit of magic tornado came through here, said Dory. Gink sat on the bed while Dory reached down to pull off a sock. But it wouldn't come off. She sat on the floor and pulled harder. It still would not move. She tried the other sock. That was stuck too. 
Next, she tried to get her dress off. She pulled, she tugged. It wouldn't move. I think we're in trouble, Gink. Down the stairs they went. Dory could hear a babble of voices from the parlour and the big witch laughing. Cook hurried by with a tea trolley. Dory peeked in. Mother! whispered Dory. The big witch was talking to Magda the Amazing, smiling and waving her hands. But Magda was looking very bored. <sighs> Mother! said Dory. Please, come here a minute. The big witch waved Dory back into the hall. What do you mean by interrupting me when I'm with important guests? And look at you. Go and get cleaned up this minute. I can't, yelled Dory. My socks and my dress are stuck. They won't come off. Something in that magic wax sticks. The big witch turned pale. Sticks? Sticks? Oh, you mean... Dory nodded and pointed to the parlour. Cook was trying to put down the tea tray. That was stuck too. The big witch gasped and sank into the hall chair. Mother, no! Don't sit down! It was too late. Oh! cried the big witch, jumping to her feet. The chair jumped up with her. Cook was carrying round the tray and everyone was having to pour their own tea. The witches and wizards were giving each other funny looks, except Magda. Magda the Amazing was just yawning. The big witch sighed. Gink rubbed against Dory's legs. No, Gink, no! cried Dory. But it was too late. He stuck to her socks. The big witch walked into the parlour. She smiled her best party smile and clapped her hands. Now for the big surprise. Our grand tour of Witchville. We'll fly our honoured guests around our splendid little town. Hardly a surprise, sighed Magda. This will be my fifth tea today and my fifth flying tour to be followed, I suppose, by my fifth display of fireworks. But as the witches and wizards began to stand up, their chairs got up too. One of the biggest and best chairs was stuck to Magda the Amazing. Magda the Amazing looked at the chair. She looked at all the other witches and wizards stuck to their chairs. She looked at Dory with Gink stuck to her leg. And Magda the Amazing began to smile. Then she began to laugh. <laughs> Big witch, this really is a surprise. A wonderful surprise. Imagine being able to fly, sitting comfortably in a chair. <laughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> One by one, each witch and wizard paraded down the hall and out of the door, with their chairs beneath them. May Gink can I come too? said Dory. Of course, cried Magda. Bring the footstool. You can fly with me. And I saw balloons in the hall. Bring those too. Dory gave everybody balloons, and then she and Gink sat on the footstool. Soon they were all flying high over Witchville. It was a wonderful ride. When they got back, Magda and the Big Witch and Dory mixed up another cauldron of magic. And one by one, the chairs dropped off. Gink unstuck himself from Dory's sock. And Cook dropped the tea tray on the kitchen floor. 
Magda the Amazing gave Witchville a big silver cup that said, Witchville, City of Surprises. And they all went to bed that night with balloons tied to their bedposts and smiles on their faces. Thank you.